Welcome to the Dr. Willow Show, where we are bridging together sexuality, spirituality, and medicine. And we're doing this for you. We're doing this for the betterment of your health, your vitality, and your life. And today we're going to be talking about how you can orgasm your way to greater health and vitality. Who doesn't want to do that? What a fun way to build health and vitality in your own body. So let's start by talking about health, okay? Because there are different levels and layers and degrees of health. And there are certain system in, systems inside of your body that are crucial to having great vitality and longevity and health. And so I wanna start with that. So one of the first systems that is so important is your digestive system. So how well are you digesting your food? Are you getting bloated and gassy and uncomfortable and having weird bowel movements? That lets you know that that system needs some support, needs some help. Probably cleaning up your diet is all you need, but you might need a little bit of extra support, digestive supplements, or maybe a cleanse. So getting the digestive system on point first is going to really help the rest of your vitality because the digestive system is the foundation for your immune system as well as your endocrine system. So those three systems are really, really foundational inside of your body. It's like this beautiful triangle of like, gotta have that in place in order to have everything else in place. So digestive system, when we look at the immune system, you know, we're looking at how well can you ward off the those external pathogens that are floating around in the environment and in your communities. So having a really strong immune system is going to keep you from going down the rabbit hole, getting sick multiple times a year, um, you know, getting constant sort of congestion and inflammation in the sinuses. It's going to just keep everything in your body functioning on a much less inflammatory level. So when you're getting sick all the time, it's dragging you down, it's bogging you down, it's causing more inflammation inside of your system. And you don't have the energy to fight that off anymore. So over time, it can cause a lot of chronic pain. Um, now, when we look at the endocrine system, which is your hormonal system, you know, that that is really the gut health is really very foundational for that. So your endocrine system, when it's on point, it's like you're, you're sleeping well, your circadian rhythms are in place, like you're waking up with energy, you're going to sleep and you're sleeping through the night. You're not waking up at that two to three, four o'clock hour, like so many people do. Um, if that is you, then that's okay. There's hope. There's hope for you to sleep through the night. I know how to, how to get you there. So, um, you know, no matter what's going on in your body, you want to get these three systems really in a deep state of health. If you're a woman, you know your endocrine system is working well because you're cycling around every 28 days, 28, 29, 30, somewhere in there. You know, you're having your periods very consistent, it's very regular. You don't have menstrual cramps, you don't have clots, and you don't have all the breast tenderness and PMS. It's like the blood should be coming out of you as a woman when you bleed, it should be coming out like water thin and fluid and bright red in color. It should not be dark. It should not be clotted. That means there's an imbalance. So also if you should be bleeding around five or six days, if you're having a shorter cycle, like only two days or maybe three, um, that just lets you know that there's a, um, there's, there's an imbalance with your hormones. So there are a myriad of ways to clean all of these things up. My favorite way is to do a 21 day purification. Not only is it going to clean up your gut health, your endocrine system and your immune system, but it's going to increase your mental capacity. Like you're going to have so much more bandwidth for the things that go on in your life. You're just going to be like, bring it on. What else do I need to, you know, take care of and handle in my life? Cause I've got the bandwidth for it. And also in that space with that increased capacity and bandwidth, you can drop into more practice and deeper practice. If your practice is yoga or walking, being out in nature, meditation, listening to beautiful music, whatever your practice of presence is, you're going to be able to go so much deeper into that, which is then going to to increase your mental capacity even more. So you're creating this beautiful cycle of health and vitality inside of yourself. Now, how do you use orgasmic energy to 
um, cultivate this sense of vitality inside of yourself. I'm going to tell you about a Taoist sexual practice that I teach um, inside of my paid courses and to my clientele, but I'm going to give it to you here because it's such a valuable one. And I want you to start to play with it and just see what's possible. What can you create on your own? If you do want to talk to me and get a little bit more insight or see if I'm able to support you, you know, book a free consult. I'm happy to do that with you. But for now, what I want to give you is something called the orgasmic upward draw the orgasmic upward draw so what you do is you get really close to the edge of your orgasm you could also you may have heard of this before called kind of edging but this the edging is one thing but then doing the upward draw of the orgasmic chi that's another part of it so you get to the close edge of like oh my god i'm gonna come oh my god i'm gonna have an orgasm oh i'm so close and you get right to that edge and you pause you pause long enough to inhale and squeeze your perineal floor, squeeze that perineum, bring the energy into your lower back because that's a pretty easy little pathway from the pelvic floor to the, um, the kidneys and the adrenal glands. And you inhale and you draw that energy right into your adrenal glands. And you just let those adrenals soak in all that orgasmic chi. What happens is your adrenals that are, so many people's adrenals are like these shriveled up little raisins. Hopefully yours are not like that. But if they are, if they shriveled up little raisins are gonna turn into these big juicy plums with all of this cultivating of orgasmic chi. So you bring that up to your adrenals in your lower back and then your, your orgasmic max is going to come back down. So then you work your way back up again, you work your way back up again and you get really heated and juiced up and turned on and you get close to the edge of your orgasm. And right before you're about to have it, you pause and you squeeze again and you draw that pelvic floor muscle up the PC muscle you draw it up and you imagine that you are pulling that energy up into the back of your heart, right? So this is thymus gland, thymus gland at the heart chakra. So that's responsible for your immune system. The thymus gland sends out those helper T cells. So when you're juicing up the back of the heart, you're filling up that thymus gland, letting it get full, big, juicy plum, right? And then it's got so much more energy to support your entire immune system. So then go for a third round, third round. Get close to the edge of your orgasmic peak once again. And right before you go over the edge and have the full orgasm, pause and inhale and squeeze and draw the energy all the way up your spine, all the way into your brain. And let that orgasmic energy just bathe your brain. Like let your whole brain just soak in that jing chi, that sexual energy. It's almost like all the little sulcus and gyrus in your brain, they get to just mm, soak in, like they're taking a bath in sexual energy. Your brain is gonna love this. And your brain is your most potent sexual organ. It's not your genitals, it's not your breasts, right? It's your brain. So let your brain bathe in that sexual energy. And then as you exhale, just allow everything to flood down through your entire body. After you've done three rounds of this orgasmic upper draw, then go ahead and have a full orgasm, have the full out, get close to the edge and go over the edge and have the full thing, have the full expression of the orgasm, whether you're male or female, it doesn't really matter. Once you have built up that sexual energy three times like that, when you finally have that full expression of the orgasm, it's going to be so much stronger, so much longer, and so much bigger. And you're going to feel so much more fulfilled afterwards, because here's what happens when you have an orgasm, your entire body gets flooded with oxytocin and oxytocin is a hormone that is like medicine for your soul. Kids. It is so powerful. It floods your whole body. It makes you feel connected. It makes you feel in love 
love. It makes you communicate better. It opens up your mental capacity. It opens up your body to be more receptive to new ideas, new experiences, new touch. And so that oxytocin, when it floods your body, not only does it make you feel amazing, but it also pushes out all the cortisol. And cortisol is that stress hormone that makes you feel anxious and stressed and confused and overwhelmed and just irritated. Let's face it. So we want to get that cortisol out of our blood. We want oxytocin to come in and the more oxytocin can flood your body, the happier person you're really going to be. So an orgasm a day keeps the doctor away. Enjoy it. My friends book a session with me. If you're interested in that, Otherwise, I'm sending you so much love and blessings, and I hope you have a lot of fun with that orgasmic upward draw practice.